Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And you guys know I have a soft spot for 2D drag racing. It's very apparent with my obsession that never died with 1320 Challenge. It's very apparent with some of the games I very much enjoy to play on mobile. Uh, and it's just really apparent overall that I enjoy 2D drag racing games, especially when pixel cars are involved. We all remember Pixel Car Racer, a game that was full of a lot of promises from the development team that were just never delivered. And now we have Apex Racer, which is kind of like Pixel Car Racer 2, that does have one of the developers, I believe, on the team. But again, it seems like it's going the same route, at least in my opinion. You can form your own opinions on things, obviously. But... I've heard these same sayings before, like multiplayer coming soon and all that, and then it never happened. Uh, that was the things that were, and story mode, those were the things that were said with Pixel Car Racer. I'm kind of seeing that trend again with Apex Racer, which is kind of why I haven't made a video about the game. But, there's a new kit on the block. It's called Pixel X Racer. This is their website. Looks pretty much identical to Pixel Car Racer. Going to be completely honest. It's a very similar game, but it's available on the Play Store, the App Store, uh, Apple App Store, and Amazon App Store. Made by... Rich Fiend Studio and Hunt Red Game Productions, by the looks of it. It's really cool. I like the game so far. I've been playing it for a little while now. And I don't know. I just I feel like this game's got some potential. They have a very small Discord that I would love to help them grow. I would like to see them grow. I'd love to help them with, you know, actually setting it up to be a little bit more full-fledged. But they're doing a good job so far themselves. It's very they're doing a really good job. If we go over to the Play Store, we can actually take a look at the actual game. So here's Pixel X Racer. It's awesome. I like it so far. There's a whole bunch of different cars. There's the drag racing. I like the camera angles of this game. You start zoomed in, and then it like zooms out when you launch. I'll show you guys when we get to the gameplay portion of this video. There's a burnout section that I love the burnout feature in this game. Absolutely love it. It isn't just... Burnout, 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 and you're done, and that's the percentage you get. It's burnout, and you can get to 100%, but it can die off real quick. And at least from a video game standpoint, I know that's not necessarily realistic, but from a video game standpoint, I like it because you kind of have to then hold it. It's very difficult on this game to get a 100% perfect grip bonus with uh, the way they do burnouts in this game. And again, I'll show you guys in a few. There's automatic transmission and manual for drag racing. Uh, there's the actual part shop for building your car, which is pretty intense. I actually very much enjoy it. There's uh, toge as well as just cruising as far as like uh, racing styles. As backfire has burnouts, it's pretty sick. And then there's the full-on livery editor, which is just absolutely awesome. I haven't played with it yet because I suck at art, but it's there. And then there's obviously the wide range of cars that are available. There's not that many cars available yet, and when we get to, again, being in-game, you're going to see there's a lot of notes taken from Pixel Car Racer like the number of garage spaces you have and things like that, and the way you cycle through cars and the way things are done as far as performance metrics. But there's just something about it. The dyno is really cool. I would like to see the dyno be something that's a little bit more useful than just an animation that tells you your horsepower and stuff like that. But as of right now, it's still cool to see it in the game for sure. So... Yeah, that's pretty much all the images for the game. Let's get to the about this game, because I want to read you guys what they say. 
So Retro Pixelated Pixel Racer features a complete customizable pixel drag racing experience that lets you build the ultimate car collection like JDM cars, German cars, muscle cars, etc. One of the most challenging pixelated drag racing games with countless features to build, tune, and race with your favorite cars. Spec out, uh, spec out cars to get the edge over your drag racing rivals. Experience the ultimate pixel car racer drag racing and highway street racing rivals races. Jesus Christ, that was a filler sentence you can tell to just hit kind of some past loved games <laughs> the way that sentence is written. And then there's just a whole bunch of, uh, you know, like leaderboards, realistic power dyno, uh, burnout and perfect launch stuff. Really cool. This game actually launched October of last year with the most recent update being on February 27th. Does have in-app purchases, but they aren't abysmal. You know, they're like $1.49 to 10 bucks. Not that bad. And then you can see what phones I have it installed on. So let's get into some gameplay, shall we? So right now, I'm doing this with the screen recording on my phone. Um because emulators on my computer do not run smooth and I do not know why. It's got to be an AMD thing. <laughs> but as you can see, I have the Honda Civic. That's where I'm at. They do have the global leaderboards. I it, haven't actually clicked on that before. Oh, there are two people here. Oh, there's three. So there are different classes of cars, so you can actually like scroll through and see who's fastest in what class. There's three different racing distances, quarter mile, half mile, and one mile, which I really like. I love having multi-distance. Why is my car running away? I don't know. Anyway, you do kind of have an avatar, this player profile thing, and the EXP gain and the coin level gain. Very similar. I'm actually playing on my son's profile. <laughs> uh, they do have a login system. I do I've never actually clicked that, so I don't know what it goes. I don't have Google services. Anyway, I don't have Google services on this phone. I'm micro G, but whatever. Uh, they have the settings, obviously. You can do mile per hour, KMH, whatever. Their Discord, Instagram, website, and exiting out of the game, which is not really a needed button. And I set this account up, again, like I said, for my son. And he's six. He doesn't quite understand. So cut me some slack in giving him unlimited money. <laughs> but you can see the garage. The garage is actually pretty sick. You can modify. You can race to your car storage, which is a little bit similar to Pixel Car Racer with having the multiple spots. I can go extra car slot. I can buy it. Let's go to the dealership. Let's buy another car. You can see I already own this car. You can only own one of each type of car. But like, let's go through the tuners. You know, there's an alpha. I believe that is. Uh, that might tr be a golf, which I don't think is really a tuner. That might be a Mazda Miata Corolla GR. Let's see if we can figure out these cars. Mark 1 or Mark 2 Golf? Rabbit, I guess. RX-7. Okay. The S2000. Sick. NSX. Supra. That is Supra. Uh, R34. Cool. R35. Ah, uh, we're into the muscle. This is going to be where I suffer. I don't know. <laughs> Viper, sick Corvette Jesus Christ, that was weird I have my door open in, uh, in here That leads to my second floor balcony And There was just a huge Pressure change outside And a big gust of wind And it just about sucked my door open That was really weird And really creepy That was really creepy I don't like it, Corvette R uh, R8. I almost said R34. 
Oh, uh, God, like an AMG Black Edition or something? I don't know. Lambo, Huracan, probably. Uh, what is that? The LaFerrari, I think. The Zonda. Sick. The... Uh, oh, my God. The Mercedes McLaren thing. Oh, my girlfriend's home. That's why there was the giant pressure change, too. Another Lambo. McLaren. Bugatti. And yeah, so that's all the cars in the game for right now, but I'm sure they're going to have more. Let's go with a tuner and just make something real quick. I don't have this alpha yet. I don't have enough money for any of these. I only have 2500 Oh, you have to buy cars with diamonds. I don't know if I like that. There should be some cars for with gold. Because this is a lot easier to earn than this. So this makes it major, like... People are going to basically exploit any way they can to get diamonds to collect whatever cars they want in the game. That's just going to be a thing. Um, I didn't realize that was a thing so far, so that's one thing I don't like so far. But let's look at the modifications. So like I said, <laughs> cars on, so definitely Amazon. You know, there's different front bumpers, different rear bumpers, different wheels, different side skirts, spoilers, and tires. I'm guessing they'll add more later. You can do custom gear ratios once you reach level 5. Brakes, ECU, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, as you can see, there's different stages. You can buy them out of order. I don't know if that impacts your power. I haven't sat down and messed with that yet. I don't know if like you buy 2, then 3, then 4, you get more power versus if you just buy this. We would have to find out by basically just playing it. But... Let's go race real quick because my girlfriend just got home. So there's going to be kids that try to in interrupt this video. We'll do just a quarter mile race. We'll do automatic drag strip and I'll show you the burnout real quick here. So this is one thing I really like. There is actually a chance of you losing money if you lose the race, even if it's against the AI. So here's the burnout feature. So you basically just hold it. And then you kind of have to keep it in that green zone the best you can, which is not easy. That's about the best grip I've ever had. And then you can launch by holding brake and gas, which is activating launch control. Uh, and I lost. So yeah, you can foul, which sucks. Let's try this again. Um, we're going to agree. We are going to burn out. And. Uh, just do it. Thank you. And now I'm going to try to not fall because that sucked. I suck. Anyway. All right. We're going to try this one more time here. Because <laughs> today is apparently not my day for winning races but uh you do have nitrous in this game one thing i suggested to the devs because they have a suggestion section on the discord which is really cool is the ability to press and release the nitrous right now it's press and hold so you have to press and hold it which makes it a little awkward for shifting which is why I run the drag races in automatic transmission mode. But the game is still a ton of fun. So this is like a full stage one Honda Civic. It's not fully upgraded. The ETs are pretty good as far as, I guess, like realism, so to speak. I'll have to max upgrade it to see how fast it ends up. I'm not sure. If I had to suggest anything to the devs, it's press and release nitrous and it just empties it nitrous tuning becomes a thing at that point and um make some cars gold coins some cars diamond so that way you know if you're playing and you earn coins from racing you can still use them to gain more than just building your car but other than that that is going to do it for the video on pixel x racer i will talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed peace out